What's going on guys? Today we're going to be installing the sissy bar to the Rebel. So the first thing you guys are going to want to do is remove these two Allen wrench bolts. And there's two on the other side as well. So go ahead and get your, your five Allen wrench socket and then your ratchet. A few moments later. So once you're done taking off these four bolts on, on both sides, uh, make sure you just save these bolts just in case you might need it for the later future in case you want to take off the sissy bar. So this is actually the sissy bar that I had purchased. I found this gentleman on Etsy. His name is Edward Ritchie. I will make sure I link his info in the description below. Uh, the first time I purchased from him and look at this beauty. This thing is, this thing is absolutely beautiful. It is all handmade and he actually customized the USN with the anchor for my brother um, because my brother's in the Navy. And I wanted to gift him something because his birthday is this weekend and this is just this perfect. It comes with a small luggage rack in the back and this is a perfect size for what I need it for. It's something that my brother has been wanting for a really long time so I decided why not just gift it. I wouldn't have asked for a better size. It's exactly what I've just ever wanted. So uh, the one thing I will say is that it does not come with the bolts. So the bolts that you will need are, I ended up buying two sets of bolts just in case one of them uh, for whatever reason uh, was not long enough. So the ones that I got are, they're zinc plated. I bought these at Home Depot. Uh, a pair for about $1.50. I ended up buying eight just in case. I didn't really feel like going back to the hardware store in case one was not long enough. So the size on these are M8 1.25 by 25 millimeters. And the next one is M8 1.25 by 30 millimeters. Uh, make sure you buy the millimeter ones and uh, make sure that they're not the coarse or the fine thread. Because if you do, then you're gonna cross strip the inside of the housings here and it's just not gonna be fun. And by the time you wanna either tighten it or take them off, they're definitely just gonna strip. So make sure you buy the right ones and just take your time with this. If for whatever reason, you don't really, um, you're not very that confident in going to Home Depot, then make sure you just take someone that knows or ask someone that's there. Excuse me, I'm building my own home security system. Where do you keep your turrets? For like a, a Browning 50 cal? Yeah, we don't carry military grade weaponry. Hmm. It's your best bet instead of just buying things you don't need. So I just kept it safe, I bought two, and then we're just gonna check it out to see which ones fit. Yeah, these are silver, but if you really guys want to, then you guys could spray paint them. So that way it just has a nice black finish to it. Also, if you really wanted to, you could add some washers at the, the end of these bolts. And also I recommend putting some Loctite on these just because they're gonna be vibrating a lot and the last thing you want is for them to just get undone after a long ride or anything like that. And uh, for my bolts, they're half inch socket. So make sure you hand tight it as much as you can and then hit it with the ratchet. Look at that, look how beautiful that looks. This thing is not going anywhere. And that's it boys. I just wanted to show you guys how simple it is to install a sissy bar on your Honda Rebel. It doesn't really take that much time at all. It just takes a ratchet, buying some new bolts at Home Depot, and just finding a place that makes a customizable sissy bar just for your Honda Rebel. And I'm sure my brother's gonna love this just because it gives it that flavor. It gives it that personality that you just wanna kinda add to your motorcycle. Make sure you guys check them out. He has a small business. I just want to kind of support him and see what he had. And to be honest with you, uh, it's awesome. Like I could not have expected for anything more perfect than this. 
and I'm sure my brother's gonna love it. I just wanted to thank you guys for tuning in. I know the last video got a lot of love. Make sure you guys give this video a like, comment, subscribe, all that great stuff. And I'll see you guys in the next one. All right, guys, peace.